today on the 52 FAQ, we're going to talk tank turnover and the roller mat. Hi, I'm RT, your host of BRS TV's 52 FAQ, where we answer all kinds of reefing questions from our popular 52 Weeks of Reefing series. This week, we're answering Patrick Eagle's question. The roller mat is a max flow rate recommendation of 600 gallons per hour. That implies three and three quarter turnover per hour for this 160 gallon tank. What flow rate is your return pump putting out? We're using an Ecotec Vectra M1 DC return pump rated for up to 2,000 gallons per hour, but there's a substantial amount of head pressure from our plumbing and it's teed off via a manifold to feed our skimmer as well. The actual flow rate through the roller mat and our sump is 650 gallons an hour, which is about four times turnover. I'm going to stop short of saying that we recommend four times turnover, but the current pump and flow rate is meeting the filtration needs of the 160 and it's close enough to the flow through rating of the roller mat as well. When it's convenient, we might consider going a bit higher, but we probably won't go much more than five times turnover or 800 gallons an hour. We'll have to see how the roller mat responds. The most common advice for tank return flow is between five and 10 times turnover. Anywhere in that pocket will work, but it's not an exact science. More or less, all we need to do is heat the water and pass the water through the various filters. Higher flow rates will give filtration like your skimmer, refugium, filter socks, roller mat, zeovit reactor, or other equipment a better chance to remove contaminants each time they pass through. However, there's a point of diminishing return where you remove everything you can and longer contact or dwell time might be more beneficial than more passes through the filter. This isn't a case where more is always better. Higher flow rates will increase the cost of the pump itself, cost of running the pump, amount of heat added to the system, significantly increase the amount of noise coming from the sump, and can decrease contact time with some filters, like filtration media placed in filter bags and inline refugiums. In general, I'd say most reefers are recognizing that they might not need as much flow as they thought initially, gravitating closer to five times turnover. I do have a few tips that directly relate to the roller mat and tank flow rates. First, I'd recommend identifying what your real flow rate is rather than just guessing. For instance, very few people would have guessed our 2,000 gallon per hour return pump is really only sending 650 gallons per hour to the tank. Our plumbing design has some pretty significant head pressure and our skimmer is likely taking a few hundred gallons an hour. Since it's very hard to do on the output side of the pump without an expensive flow meter, one of the best ways to identify flow rate through your sump is to divert your overflow return into a bucket and just time how long it takes to fill the bucket. In our case, we just removed the roller mat and filled a 5 gallon bucket which took about 28 seconds to fill. The easiest way to do the math is divide that 28 seconds by the 5 gallons and you see it takes 5.6 seconds per gallon. Then divide 3600 which is the amount of seconds in an hour by that 5.6 and you get 642 gallons an hour. This obviously isn't exact but it'll get you more than close enough for our needs. Second tip, the roller mat's rated for 600 gallons an hour, so what if your sump is running at 1,000 gallons an hour? You could split your return and run two roller mats. You could also split the return and allow some of the water to flow freely into the sump. Not all of the water has to pass through the roller mat. You could also tune your return and flow through the sump down closer to 600 as well. One more tip for today, the 600 gallon flow rate for the roller mat is likely a function of two things. The emergency overflow pipe size and managing usable life of the paper based on an average tank. You can always plumb a larger or additional emergency overflow if you like. The flow rate will have two impacts on the paper itself. First, the more water passing through it, presumably the more floating food and waste particulate it will remove, which will clog it faster and cause it to consume and expose paper more quickly. Higher flow rates will also presumably increase the amount of pressure it takes for the water to pass through the paper, which means the paper doesn't have to get quite as dirty before the water level rises, triggers a float switch, and exposes new paper. So you could get more life out of your paper roll at a lower flow rate, however higher flow rates will not only capture more waste, but also the increased head pressure will likely cause the roller mat to collect it and remove the waste before it has a chance to break down in the tank. If you're interested in learning more about the roller mat and mechanical filtration in general, do yourself a favor and check out week 25 and 52 weeks of reefing, going beyond filter socks, the feeling roller mat. Don't forget, not only do we love answering your questions, but this is what the 52 FAQ is based on, so check out the comments area below. If you prefer Facebook, check out the Facebook comments on the video section of our site. It's a great place to view the over 500 helpful reefing videos we've released over the years. See you soon with the next 52 FAQ.